Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted and just a short synopsis why my wife's been not feeling very good, the migraines, and now we're coming to find out she's having um, maybe gallbladder issues, so she might be having to get that removed here soon, which would help with a lot of things from her, it, it might be the problem behind her soy and some of the allergies and, and, and that, so I've been keeping a very close eye on her and then also, you know, we've We've run on some hard times. Um, we're just trying to keep pushing and keep pushing. Um, my wife does a buckle and then she does DoorDash, but now summer's coming up and everything's just kind of getting in there. And I feel, I don't know how I, would, how I feel. I, I feel bad because the accident I suffered four years ago, the, um, I can't do work um, outside of my studio because I'm not good around groups of people anymore. The, 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 the traumatic, the TBI was pretty bad and I'm still working on that, but I have got stuff into the VA and I'm gonna reapply to Social Security really quick. Um, uh, my psychologist, my psychiatrist, psychologist, we kinda got it figured out uh, why they said no and then one word would have been different. Um, so he's getting that squared away so we can see how that goes. Um, because he won't let me go back to work because I'm uh, just too many things with the TBI. And not that I haven't been building, I've just been so focused on just trying to make sure my wife's okay. And, and you know, I've probably been in the, you know, a little bit, you know, under the, under the, under the wind or under, you know, um, because, you know, there's just those little things I can't do. But it's, uh, it is what it is, and I am not going to stop fighting. I always fight, which is why I love doing what I do. So, this is now episode four on the USS Iwo Jima. Um, like I said, I've been doing uh, parts on it over the last few weeks, um, and I'm gonna. This is where I'm starting in, and then get back into the bridge and all that. Um, week four, I threw all things. Um, you're going to see me. Um, start working with decals on those small aircraft. You're going to see me start putting on the photo etch. Um, I didn't really go into detail with it, but I did split the f uh, flight deck. Um, I split that, and um, the detail I didn't go in is how I split it and how I set up the magnets, and I apologize. I will do another video, but uh, I made the back half, uh, the stern of the flight deck, removable so you could see into the well deck and into the the fly, uh, hangar deck and all that, and uh, yeah, also, I do have some very cool projects coming up that I've been working with my printer on. Here is one, a uh, client has asked me to, sorry, bring it up here, and uh, build him a, the 84 Nissan, and I'm doing that, um, and I will definitely go into on, on these a lot, <laughs> it's pretty, yeah. Uh, it's fun, and I like I said, I will go into it when I start posting video of this, because it's probably going to start next week. Um, then I also got asked, uh, I'm doing this, and this is uh, Oogie Boogie from, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, and I've been asked to make, this is going to now become a gear shift knob, so there's that fun, and I'm not going to take away... There'll be videos for each of those builds. But this is on the USS Iwo Jima. It's getting really close. Um, almost got the island fixed. Uh, getting that ready to go on. And just doing the other little things. So you will see that and I will not take away from the video. Uh, please, if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Click on the below bell and you'll know every time I do upload a video. And as always, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. My, my friends, my subscribers, uh, I, it really still warms my heart. And of those that, you know, emailed me to make sure I was doing okay, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but also, you know, um, if you are new to the channel and you're seeing stuff that in my other videos that I've done or um, if I didn't go into enough detail on one of the videos I'm, I've, you know, been uploading, um, you can email me at bucktmore at gmail.com or ask it in the comments. And ask, hey Buck, can you go more into depth? Or, hey Buck, why did you plan? Why did you go that way? Or hey Buck, um, not on the build you're doing, but hey, I'm I'm kind of hitting a a a, 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 a 
a stumbling point. Could uh, maybe I talk it through with you? Guys, please, if you, yeah, ask questions. Just put it in the email or uh, comment section. I also respond well to, hey, Buck, good job. Hey, Buck, okay, it, it works, but, you know, okay. And then they dreaded, which we all know that, what the heck were you thinking, Buck? I usually respond to those within 12 to 24 hours. So with that, my friends, let's get to the bench and uh, get back to the USS Iwo Jima. And um, before that, also I will be getting, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, just so you know. Um, but uh, get back on the bridge, get that finished, all that. So now that I got that sweater, I should said before, um, now let's get to the bench and see what's going on with this beautiful ship. All right. Well, I'm going to start weathering up the flight deck now. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Jet Exhaust Burn Iron. This is from MIG. Um, it's acrylic. Uh, a MIG-18. So, it actually works really good. I like it a lot. Um, there's going to be a lot going on with this. But, you're going to have to be careful. And, let me show you what I'm going to try to go after first before the effect that I'm going to do. Sorry about that. So, what I'm trying to do is start creating these hard stains, and then definitely I'm going to be using a lot of other things, but that's one of the first things I want to try to get going on. And I use the picture as reference, and then I can um, tweak it as need be. But that's what I'm going to go for. So, let's see if I can do that. Like I said, again, you want to be very, very careful um, with this, because it is thinned down. And you definitely want it um, not to go much more than that. Sorry, I'm trying to keep a look at the picture. So, all right. So, so as you can see, it does do that little bit, and and basically that's all I'm doing, guys. Is I'm just starting with that. I'm just looking to see where. Everything's at. And I'll darken it up as need be. And I want them to kind of stay a little bit random. I don't want to make them all one exact form. Okay, so that's where that's going to be right now. And then as I get more, I'm going to go back in and start using my Tamiya Smoke X19 to help um, degrade it a little bit more. But I'll let those get dry and then I'm going to look at them and see if I need to do a little bit more. But that's the first step to weathering the flight deck, guys. So I will return. Good morning. So first things first, I started getting all the little vehicles, getting the tires and the um, tank chain painted. And man, that's... That's a lot of looking through a magnifying glass. Still got to work on the forklift, but if these guys are now set, and then I'll repaint from the black or the gunmetal that didn't sit right on the track. But, as you can hear, I've got Tamiya, I've got my Tamiya Smoke, which is X19, and I'm going to start doing a little bit more weathering now with the smoke, just to help kind of grunge it up. Now, the great thing about smoke is you can apply it as a wash, you can... Do whatever you want. I like to spray it a lot because I got a lot of other washes. But basically, all I am going to do is I am just going to go back and forth just to uh, create that more of a grunge, dirty. You know, it's a use. You know, this is a ship that is always doing something. So. And then I'll let that sit and dry a little bit and then I'll go back and do it a little bit more so um, I'm not gonna make you keep watching me do this because it could take it's gonna take a few layers um, to get the effect I want but this is where I'm starting at and I will come back and share when I am done welcome back this is episode four and hopefully the final episode because I'm starting to get a lot of things going I've been doing a little bit of work um, but right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to add those 
rust size you see on the ship and I would bring the box over but the dang thing is too big and I've tried a couple of different things but something I found out that I'm, that I'm liking and you guys do whatever you think but uh, I got my I'm using my Vallejo rust um, paint and I'm basically dry brushing and um, that helps it gets it dark but it doesn't get it so dark that I'm gonna have to oh my god there's too much I just want the effect and that's why I'm dry brushing and as you can see it's starting to get there a little bit which I like very nice and there really is um, I'm trying to do these where I know that there's there should be uh, where the bilge is and you see I got that a little bit too heavy so when I do that I get um, my q-tip and basically all I do is I just roll on it and I'll start to pull down a little bit and just kind of do that and then if I need to make sure that's off a little bit I'll come back and do that again it's still a little bit too much but what it's going to do is help me because then I can go back with some thinner if I need to and just really get the guys get them down really good and I'm going to do a couple more here just trying to find something that might do okay and as you can see I don't try to I try to make them trail not you know start out thick and you know um, sorry I'm just trying to make them trail so if you think you got too much on there and I did do a wash but that was not working out for me as well so I got a little bit of thinner and what I do is I'll just come in here I'll, I'll just dab a little bit I'll come back with my q-tip and just slightly wear it down you know and sometimes it makes it actually the thinner helps it get even better so and there we go that's um, I'll probably keep adding more but that's the start of it so yay also I've gotten um, all the vehicles are now painted. I've got the, the the airplanes and the choppers going, and I'm doing some rebuilding on um, the island um, because it uh, likes to be its thing. So let me get some things cleaned up, and I'll be right back and I'll share. Well, good afternoon, and yes, back at it. Um, don't know if I told you yet, but I was going to start doing some scratch building because I had to do I having to remake some of these. You can see those are very thin, very fragile. Even, you know, even just trying to move it sometimes, you can just crack those and it makes something bad. So what I did is I took some styrene, some round styrene. Uh, I think I put two away, but you can see it's very small. And then what I did is I took that piece, I laid everything out, and I got the back side measured right, and then most of the uh, insides I might have to trim that piece a little bit but now what I'm going to do is to help get those edges rounded a little bit better so they don't look like Ugh. oh and before I go I'm still working on these to reinforce on the island which will be going they will be going right here so what I'm doing, like I said, is right now all I'm doing is I'm going to take some of my plastic putty from Vallejo and then where I made the connections and added the glue and I used the Tamiya Thin Cement for this. Oh, I don't think that one's open. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I used, sorry, let me put this up here for you guys. I used the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going and putting a dollop of this plastic putty on all the connections. And then, then I am going to take a Q-tip and just very gently just kind of put it over there, wipe off the bigger parts. Don't get too crazy. And then there. And now that is good. I am going to set it down so it dries. So we'll do one more. 
again like I said I just add a little dollop I'm not trying to put too much on there so I don't have too much to clean but just like that and the reason I haven't put the tip on yet is because I need both hands so and then like I said I just gradually take some of that out and if I need to I'll go back later with the my exacto knife or a little sander but that's what I'm doing right now guys um, got pretty much all the parts painted the next big thing to do while I'm waiting on stuff to dry is I'm gonna start doing decals on the aircraft and trust me that's gonna be fun so with that guys let me get this stuff finished up let me get things cleaned up moved around and we will go from there so I will see you soon you can actually see that this isn't it's it's not hard it's just it's a little tough but hey all right so I'm gonna go with this one again I'm gonna give it a count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put it right onto the kit piece itself I'm gonna let that sit there and just get it soaked down while I get in there sometimes that works great sometimes not so much but hey we're gonna get there and just think man, the Harrier's got a lot even more smaller decals and so I went with these first so you guys could actually see what I'm doing because I'm gonna have to have my magnifiers on to get a lot of these in and again I'll just start seeing if it's ready to go with my toothpick not yet getting there but not yet and uh, usually you know decals can take a while especially the ones like this so a good thing of advice from that I do and I, I I'm gonna give to you guys is uh, I'm not gonna try to do them all at once you guys see me make that mistake more than once <clears throat> so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the tops done that I can then I'm gonna let that get set good and dry and then I'm gonna do turn it and do one side and then do the next side because if I try to get it all done at the same time or, you know try to get them all going I'm gonna tear the decals I'm gonna pull them up rip them up and I definitely don't want to do that so so again okay there we go now move this little guy up as you can see there's that still that water so that's all right so now I'm just gonna move him up into place I hope come on now darn thing sometimes I tell you okay then again I'm just gonna lightly push even lightly pushing down with my q-tip to get the air out dang it those things I tell you some some companies are good very good with the decals I usually don't have very hardly any trouble with them and then some just man they're a pain so all right so here we go Mr. Selva set is now on and I'm gonna put that over there so that's where I'm at right now guys I'm gonna try to start getting more decals done on the rest of the, the gear um, it's gonna take a couple of days to get all done but it's a start I have got um, things made up ready to go and getting close to getting a lot so I want to get these guys done because they're gonna take a while and let me zoom out so you guys can see they're gonna take a while to do so um, I will come back when I have more to share okay now there's there's ways to go about this um, if you know um, you can let it dry and then go back with mineral spirits or like with what I'm doing I'm not gonna let it I'm gonna let it dry a little bit not too much and then I'm gonna go with paper towel and I'll just start blotting that what that's gonna do is it's gonna leave that Savina Paneline accent into these um, creases here to for the walkway and it's you know it's gonna give it a little bit more depth so now can't do one side without doing the other so again I just come along with my accent okay so getting things done and prime you know all that so I wanted to show this to you guys this is on the island and these pieces are supposed to go together 
Well, they did, but they're very, very, um, very delicate, I, I have to say. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole into this and into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking one of my resistors. Don't worry. Um, it'll be fine. Because you know, guys, I've done the short stuff. Uh, I've cut, cut these down for a lot of things, so. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look. It's got that nice little piece there. If I don't drop it or lose it in my finger. Okay, I'm going to move you out of the way. Well, somewhat out of the way. I'm going to get this piece. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to insert this piece off the resistor, the, maybe, if I don't lose it. Okay, oh, there it is. And what I'm going to do, very, very carefully, I think I'm going to have to use my big old fingers. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to get it in that hole, if I can. And you can see I've had some caffeine this morning. Like so, almost. Yeah, it's in there. I thought it was. Okay, give me a second, guys. It's coming, I promise. Okay. There we go. So now I'm going when I I'm going to glue it together, and then um, that'll seal that. And I just got to make sure on the direction of this one. And it is straight. This one is turned over there. And this one goes on straight. Sorry, guys. Talking to myself. I know. What the heck. And then this one goes. No, it's easier. I just pull out the dang instructions and look, right? So you're trying to look at that. Okay, so this is what I'm working on, this piece right here. And as you can see, that little tip right there, yeah, it broke off. So, I got to make sure that this piece right here is... Doom -doo -doom. And it'll go like that. Or I'll drop it like that. Sorry, guys. And definitely be editing. Okay. And if this is turned like that. Okay. So what I'm doing is because one piece is at about a 45 degree angle from the other piece. So what I can do is I can make sure, see, that's how it should be. This should be straight. And this should be right there. And that's what I what I gotta do. And I'm just looking at it from the top. Cause there's that piece. That's that one right there. And of course they don't show you another top view like they did there. But it's straight, so this piece goes in straight right there, and then that piece will go on. Now I'm gonna hold off for a second. I want to keep those apart for just a second because I want to make sure I get everything squared away. But I wanted to show you that before I got any further with it. And then I was like, oh darn. So that's how I fix. A, I've been fixing a lot of the, um, the fragile pieces. I've been scratch building or doing things to help secure them even better. So, all right guys, well, I'm going to get back at it. Okay, let's get back at it. Uh, first things first, I should have left these on the sprue and painted them. Um... So I would suggest doing that, guys, because this is um, doing a lot of little work. And as you can see, I've gone back. I've repainted them. I did a, you know, a, a pre-shading coat. Then I went back with Tamiya Flat White, sprayed them all the way white. And then I gave them gloss coat. Now I'm taking my Ocean Gray 2 and applying that into the little parts um, to help give that definition. But... I did want to share this real quick. So for a while I was trying to figure out how the heck am I going to do this. And by that what I mean is 
the flight deck's all flat. Oh, let me do this. Sorry, guys. I got really. All right, the flight deck is all one piece, but they didn't design it where you can take it off to show all the lovely detail that's inside. So what I've done is I've cut the flight deck, and I'll touch up the paints. But what I've done is I've added small magnets into um, locations, and then that way. It all fits, and the client can take it, you know, take it off and look at it. But uh, so yeah, I got some touch up to do, of course. But uh, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing, guys. I mean, and getting all the little things done. I've got to finish up on the aircraft, uh, some of the uh, equipment, and finish fi fixing the island and start getting things together better, or actually finish together because. Uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing: the the the, uh, the decals for the air for the the flight equipment is really really small. So yeah, so that's what I'm working on, and um, I'm gonna take my magnifying glasses and do this. And so uh, once I get them all done, I will definitely turn the camera back on and share with you. But this is gonna be a little bit of a process. Um, so. Why don't I do this? Let's let's just do a quick run through, so you guys can see. And if I get in the way, I'm sorry. So I've already mixed this once, and the biggest thing right now is um, you don't want to put a whole lot of paint on your brush. I just let me bring it over here, so you guys can see. I just barely put the tip in, like that. So you can see, sorry it's buzzing out. You see there's not that much paint. And then I will come in and gingerly put it in. And sometimes you gotta you, you might have to dip a little farther because that's just like the thinner. But make sure you try to take some of the excess paint off. And don't worry if you uh you, you get that paint onto the areas that are white because you can go back with the white and um, touch it up. A lot of touch up with these little small kits. I will tell you that much. And then I just keep going like this and let me try this again. Sorry about that guys. I didn't, I moved it back. I'm sorry. So Let's do this one, make sure, and you can pick or start, like I said, anywhere you want. Like I said, make sure you get that little bit of excess off, because if you don't, then it's going to pool where you don't want it to pool, and then just gingerly, easily, just, like I said, add the paint, and like I said, if you get any on the white like bugs, then you can just touch up the white on that, but... I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me paint these. Like I said, I'll come back when they're all finished and uh, I'll share it with you guys. So I will be back and I promise I will see you soon. Good afternoon and uh, I promised I was going to share these with you once I got them all done and painted. And I'm um, sorry about that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Sorry. Let's see. So, like I said, I. Uh, I painted it this all these parts matte or flat white the T the um, Tamara XF2 and then I after that got done I went back in with the ocean gray 2 that I've been using and went back and touched all those parts up and then flipped them over turned them over again did all the touch-ups and now they're matte coated clear and um, getting ready but I wanted to share that with you also um, I don't know what else yet, but getting there. Um, so today, um, I'm gonna start keep working on getting stuff finished up on the island, and then um, start working on the inside a little bit more. Oh yeah, let me show you what that looked like after it dried. So it's it's not overbearing; it's subtle. And 
um, it actually looks, you know, I mean, of course they clean the thing all the time, but as you can tell, it just gives it that nice, subtle, and let me zoom out so you can actually see the whole thing. So, yay! All right. So now, um, like I said, get the island finished up, and then I got to keep getting the markings done onto the uh, aircraft, and then start putting, uh, and also putting on the rest of the photo etch, which is probably what I'll do first after I get these um, done, so I can show you that loveliness, because I didn't show it, because I wanted to test it out, and see if I may, and by test it out, make sure I wouldn't, uh, you know, when I do go to show you guys, I wouldn't mess it up, but hey, that's modeling, it always happens. So, um, let me get everything arranged again, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, besides have my instructions out, is I'm gonna cut the pieces that I'm going to be working with. So again, I have my X-Acto knife, and I know I've showed Photo Etch um, that I can use on the paragraphics with my good scissors, um, but some of this is just like, ooh, so I'd rather take a good, brand new X-Acto sharp sharp knife, sharp, X-Acto knife, sorry, and um, what I'm doing is I'm cutting because if you can see, and let me show you, if you can get the hand in the right place, you can see the attachments are very nice and thin at the uh, where they're connected. So just nice, easy, and just like that. Now if it's all the way good and through, it should fall out and not yet. I missed two. Okay. And here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. So there is that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just looking to see how close it was. See if there's any little bits that I need to take off. So there's that piece. And get that turned over and then I'm going to be using B2, which is this one. And all I'm running right now, guys, I'm not running the, the folded photo etch. I'm just running the bottom or where this photo is going to hook in it so that gets nice and secure and dry before I start putting the other pieces on here. Now, also, another thing I want to share with you guys is um, even though this I have uh, clear coated and many, many times, the paint is going to scratch. This is metal. So that's where we're at so let me get the, the parts moved around and i'll start working on applying them with you guys okay um show you the first one and then i'll get them finished so like i said if you don't get all the little burrs off with the exacto or with the uh exacto knife remember i have my my fingernail drill the cad drum and i love this thing because i can turn the speed down low enough that i'm not afraid of it overgoing sorry put it on camera as you can see, just kind of keep looking and just like that. Okay, now that bring, brings the other issue is, oh gosh, now that's all, yeah, it's okay. Um, it'll work out great because um, yes, you are, there's always going to be touch-up painting. So the first thing I have done is what I always do is I check the part, check the piece and practice a little bit getting it lined up and just making sure because these are kind of fun to work with kind of crazy to work with and then yeah there's that so okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is i i found out from doing the other side doing this side that trying to glue, glue it all down at once is kind of um yeah scary so, um, I will show you that, but I think I'm going to get one more pad so I can get it off this side and get a corner. So give me just a second. Okay, I've gotten it turned around. Now, having this ship this direction is a little different than what, I'm used, what I'd usually do because I usually go this way. But it might be a good idea because um, I want to, just so I can keep it all on camera and uh, not get too many hands in the way. So, um... Again, if I didn't go over it, I've already applied the decals to the, sh to the ship. 
So I'm not worried about that because I've already weathered a little bit. But now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, take my CA and I'm going to make a little pool on a piece of tape um, away from everything. Then I am going to grab my photo etch piece and I'm only going to start the corner of it. And I'll explain why when I, when I, when I start doing this. So I take a little bit of the CA. I don't want a whole lot because you just don't want this thing to go oh my goodness okay put that down now I'll grab my other pair of tweezers just so I can grab onto it and then what I'm doing making sure it's the right way first is all I'm gonna do is put it on there get it set let that start to dry a bit and now I'm gonna let that set up what this is gonna do is gonna allow me to be able to um, not try to trying to keep it all square at the same time and trying to do all that you know it kind of becomes a pain because the first time I did it, I glued the whole thing and it took me a couple of minutes to work with it all right so um, and if you get any little excess glue I always have a q-tip waiting so now what I'm going to do I'm gonna let me zoom out just a bit sorry zoom out now I can see the lips maybe if I can show you guys so I can see the little lips where this goes. So now, all I'm going to do is I, I just move it a little bit and that way I can see where I need to add glue and there's going to have to be more glue um, just besides those points. So, again, I take my toothpick, I take the pointy end and basically all I'm doing is just running a little bit of glue to certain bits um, not too much glue, but all right, right there. And then what I'm doing is I will get it into position, hold a loop, get it into position, and have pressure on it so it stays at that point, just like that. And I make sure it's good. And then I'll just like again, I'll sit there and let it set up and get a little bit more secure. Then. Once that is done, done again, and if I got any little over excess on the CA, I just come in with my Q-tip and I mop up or, you know, I do the whole thing like that. And so, sometimes you might have to just add a little bit of pressure, but not a whole lot. Because it will eventually do what it needs to do. Now here in the corner, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. So I got to make sure I put a little bit, of, I'm putting glue not only for the corner but also for the, the the platform and I'm just tucking it in again I just move my tooth move things out of the way and then I'll just bring it and just set it down just like that not do anything else and let this sit and get ready and just set up and yes I know I turned it on the side again um, and if you do that one of the things I am being very 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 careful of is I'm not putting an a sane amount of pressure on the kit um, because I just don't want it to do that because you know what will happen if you put too much pressure I'll just bang up the other side and yeah so again I'll do one more with you guys so again all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it set that on the edge and this is the next one and if you see like these little squares, that's for the staircases. So that helps you see that. And I need to go ahead and just check in, making sure everything's good. I, I forgot to get these cleaned up. So give me a second to get all these cleaned up better. And I will come back and we'll just finish the side. We'll just do the whole side. So give me a few seconds, a few minutes. Okay, well, here's where I'm going to end this video. And I know I said at the beginning that I hope this would have been the final episode, but it's not. That's okay. At least one, maybe two more. I don't know. But got the flight deck glued on the front. And here is where I split the flight deck and did the magnets. And Sorry, guys. Just trying to do that one-handed. Okay. There we go. Flight deck's on. Getting closer and closer on the island. Almost done with the island. And 
the rest of the photo etch. And then, yes, I'm sorry, let me see if I can do this right. Getting that photo etch down, as you can see. So, yeah. So, sweet. Alright, guys, well, please have a safe and fun weekend. Please have a safe and fun work week next week. And I will see you guys, especially next week on the bench. Alright.